What is up, the lads? Cass and Corral here, back playing Death Mark in the last episode. Uh, we had a two H fours just to <clears throat> see what's popping about the Legend of Shimio, the Spotted Man of the Woods. Spotted some corpses that were that had some drilled holes. Some had honey in them. I think only one didn't. But, yeah. After that, I'm dicking around for some time. We have finally saved Shimio's soul. We finally made him pass on to the nether realm, I guess, or some shit. Anyways, let's continue. Oh, yeah. Shimio is also part of the Honeybee family, an organization. Or, call this an organization. What do we know? It's like anti-establishment, I think. So, yeah. They've, he, Shimio, uh, he was a leader of the cult. Planned a mass suicide. Everyone died but him. At least, died the way it was intended to accept him. So, he tried to make family. That's why he was making some beehives from bodies so yeah let's continue i didn't even cover half of it but yeah chapter two shimio o shimi o end and her end of chapter two trophy obtained pretty damn nice it's been three days since shimio's defeat mishada and sho have left leaving only christy and i at the mansion not any we have not had any new mark bears arrive nor any new info on any spirits that's footsteps keep drawing closer <clears throat> goddamn clock go directly to christine lord castle did you obtain any clues no nothing really i'd hoped but i see well, Isaiah's study seemed optimal to contain something of interest. Ah, uh, yeah? Christian and I just finished investigating Isaiah Kujio's study. It had been full of mounds of specialized books and piles of reports. It was a daunting task, but we did our best to search through, the, through them regardless. Except it was all futile. Everything was about healing the spirit. Nothing mentioned the mark at all. <coughs> hey, Mr. Catherine. Don't you think it's useless to keep searching the mansion? You have any other ideas then? Well, I don't know what I said about each shrine. I th if I remember correctly, I think Honeybee... I think she's talking about Honeybee as well. Where the shrine is shrieked, or sacred. They, they got it protected or remember it somehow. And if they don't keep it up, uh, it's gonna be the end of times. No, not the end of times. If they don't keep it up, uh, solve a day of salvation or something will come, which is a no-no. So, it's... Uh, I guess I'll select yes. Right, of course you would. I was thinking, maybe the shrine is connected to all this, this spirit stuff. That's what Shimio's note said, right? Everything happening in the forest is the divine wrath of each shrine. Oh, divine wrath. Okay. <clears throat> and you think the mark and the spirit activity are because of the divine, this divine wrath? It's definitely a possibility. Disasters happen in many ghost stories and myths because of the wrath of gods. Isn't there value in looking into it? Actually, who knows, dude? Oh, that was lackluster. How very unreliable you are. Jesus. Christie's brimming with confidence. She seems in a much better mood than she was three days ago. At least that's a plus. She's a famous report after all, so maybe this is what she's really like. So, Mary, I'd like to go see Age Shrine. You don't mind, do you? Hmm. There's too many unpleasant rumors around that forest. If the cause is H-Shrine, there may be some clues there. But 
even if there are, if it's spiritual, then how are normal humans like us supposed to find it? Rishi and I don't have spiritual powers. Hmm. In that case, you could bring me along with you to a shrine. I should be able to sense the presence of anything spiritual. Spiritual. I can act as a guide as well. You know that shrine? Yes, in truth in shrines, the guardian deity of the Kujio family. Over the generations, the heads of taking care of the shrine. However, that came to an end after the recent war resolved. As one who serves the Kujios, Kujios I am concerned about its present state. And bringing you along would mean I have to carry you, don't I? As it is impossible for me to walk, I would agree to that assessment. I am sorry to inconvenience you. Hmm. An overgrown forest in the dead of night. I'm not looking forward to having to carry Mary all the way to the shrine. <coughs> you look worn out and we haven't left. It's a small price to pay for salvation. If you can't get any hints for about the spirits. That's true. I think Mary's eager about this too. So I'll just have to deal with it, I suppose. Okay, let's go back to the forest. Damn, back to the forest we go, huh? Uh, can I pick a partner? Okay. I thought I could have Mary as a partner as well, but... I guess you're sticking with me on my back. Ah, <sighs> forest. Before we leave, we put Mary in the, in the back seat. Thank God she's not as heavy as she looks. I should be able to carry her just fine. <clears throat> By the way, Mr. Casson, have you read the files over there? Hmm? She points to the right side of the room, and shelves pass packed with files. Not yet. I've searched most of the mansion, but I haven't checked the garage. Oh, really? Hmm. Don't have to be sarcastic, honey. Uh, she grabs a file and flips through the pages. Looks like the articles on various crimes. The clippings cover every incident in each city in the surrounding area. Was Miss Cujo? 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 Looking into criminal activity? <clears throat> Any of it look related to the mark? Mm mm. Not as far as I can tell. can tell. These are all extremely old. The most recent is dated five years ago. Hmm. She puts the file back. It's just one file though. Alright, should we head out soon? Let's get it. Oh, I park outside the entrance of the forest and gather Mary into my arms. Oh, it's still fucking night. Why would I expect anything different? You make your way into the familiar arc. There's still a long way to go. A middle-aged man carrying a doll. You're practically a ghost story yourself if, if someone sees you here. Yeah. I'm very sorry to cause you such trouble. Mary stares up at me as I hold her. Her skin and hair glint bewitchingly when the light from the flashlight catches them. I've not been outside in a long time. And to go hiking in the arms of such a fine gentleman. This is very. This is a very precious experience. She sounds as dispassionate as ever, but is she actually having fun? No, nah, I wouldn't count on that. Still, it is just as the rumors say. This forest is filled with the curses and resentment of the dead. Simply, their presence is enough to drive the living mad. The land is tainted. I can see why it is given birth to monstrous spirits. I bet if you track down the cause of it, it will be the Divine Wrath. Let's hurry to the shrine. You want me to go? Oh, okay. Reach the old toady gate with no trouble. Hmm, the bees are dead, huh? You stand and watch for a while, but nothing comes out of the beehives. You seem to be sleeping. It is most likely because Shimio is gone. A shrine is up in, up those stone steps. At Mary's direction, we walk past toward the gate. <clears throat> A small black shadow flits across our feet. 
Oh, it's that rabbit again. Hi. Hmm, so this is the rabbit you told me about, little cousin. You are correct. It is very cute. Rabbit stares up at the two of us. Hmm. Actually, that's made a noise against me. Huh. It then disappears towards the shrine. Wonder what was that about? What do you think, Mary? I felt a strange presence. It appears to be possessed by some kind of soul. Oh. So it's a spirit too. Indeed. Though it does not appear strong enough to give marks to humans. You know nothing of its true nature, so please proceed with caution. He followed the rabbit under the toady gate and up the stone steps. Ah! Wait, there's some Buddha statues there. If only I can move the statue, the, not the statue, the flashlight. At the top, we find a wilderness creeping in. There doesn't seem to be anything here but an old altar. Is this H shrine? Sadly, it is far into disrepair. The war was over 50 years ago. I suppose this was to be expected. I feel like Rabbit is gone. Desert shrines give me the creeps. Let's hurry up and get to searching so you don't stay here long. Oh, oh okay. Any spooks? Right. There's only two plate or three places. There's a statue. Headless Buddhist statues are buried into the ground. Creepy. I wonder what happened here. Hmm. That's your observation, huh? Sacred. Some shime nawa rope on a rag boulder. I wonder if that boulder is an Irakura? What? What's that? According to an ancient Shinto tradition, it's a sacred rock that a god descended on. It's not uncommon for the rock itself to be an object of devotion. Oh. So, just a, a god just steps on it? Or lands on it? <coughs> <coughs> That's a wooden shrine altar. The part of the old mirror serves as a Go Shintai. Looks like it's true that no one's taken care of this place for a long time. Peek inside just in case, but all I see is a thick layer of dust. There are gold shintais outside and the altar's empty. That's concerning. I don't think there's any more we can search. Ah, the Buddha statues concern me. Why are all the ones with, within the shrine missing their heads? But it's true. Shinto and Buddhism are, are ordered to be separated during the Maiji period. Before then, many shrines were dedicated to both. Each one was much the same. But in the Maiji period, there was a push to make Shinto the main religion. The fates were forced apart. Extremists stole the Buddhist statues from the shrines and desecrated them. Damn. Oh, uh, the famous anti-Buddhist movement. So, this is where that happened? No. It was done in the in a public space as they wanted to make a show for, of it. The broken statues were carried here to serve as a memorial for worship. The Kujio family had was said to be aggrieved, so he moved them in secret. <coughs> Alright, sorry about that. Seems that all the broken statues from around each city were buried here. Strange. He said they were worship, but this is pretty much a ruin. You have a keen eye, Lord Kassin. Shrine was subsequently dug up and the statues were stolen. Ooh. So they came all the way into this huge force just to carry out broken statues? Who would do something like that? That, I do not know. I merely heard they were stolen 50 years ago, about the time of the war. So the statues were broken, thrown away, then dug up? I'd say the Buddha was it's a wealth of patience, but even, even he got angry. Could that anger have turned to, into divine wrath and given birth to the mark and spirits? Mary, have you been able to feel the presence of any spirits or whatever? About that. <coughs> this land is much more foreboding than I had imagined. 
and the enmity enmity of the fort swallows all else. It's hard to sense beneath it. So, too much background noise, huh? Yeah, although, I do sense the same presence as Lady Chrissy's mark, however faint. I'm sure the spirit that gave her the mark is somewhere in the forest. So after all that, we were only able to reconfirm something we already knew. For me, forgive me, I wasn't able to... Yeah, you don't have to apologize, Mary. <coughs> there weren't plenty of value here. What do you mean? I'll tell you on the way back. First, let's get the hell out of here. This place gives me the creeps. Maybe it's the ill will Mary sensed. Hmm. Oh, you want me to go back myself? You leave H try and walk down the beast trail toward the forest entrance. Oh, okay. Maybe it's because of that strange tale, but for some reason, I feel like someone is watching us from the darkness of the trees. Oh. <clears throat> Back to... Home? The mansion? You begin driving back to the mansion. As you break out of the dense forest, I can see building lights pop up here and there. <clears throat> well, that was a complete waste of time. My anxiety lifted. I don't even bother to filter the words that slip out of my mouth. I don't think that's true. It's all coming together for me. Without further prodding, Christy starts in on her own theory. Passion evident in her voice. I believe Shimio was right. Atrin is definitely what's causing all the strange stuff in the forest. I'm sure it's those stolen statues. Do you agree? I wonder. It feels like we just don't have enough info at this point to say one or the other. But there's no denying that a lot of strange things are going on in that forest. Between the suicides and Shimio wandering around, it couldn't just be a coincidence, could it? If you research the shrine, maybe might learn more about the mark. I feel that's a lot safer than risking our lives looking for the spirit. What do you think? You might be right. <clears throat> One of the plays are half far, which isn't what Christy was hoping for, so she falls silent. An awkward, uncomfortable silence settles. Lord Cass, please stop the car. Mary speaks for the first time since we entered the car. What is it? I sense a presence similar to Lady Christie's mark close by. Ooh. Hmm. Now going directly to the mansion, huh? Following Mary's quick quest, I park in a vacant rest stop on the outskirts of H City. Christie and I step out of the car. Uh, oh, whoa. Mark is suddenly scalding. Jesus. Is something nearby? Look. Someone's over there. What? Oh. It's a small girl. Okay. A street. Yeah, a small girl steps out the box, telephone box. Why is a kid outside at this time of night? Thank you for bringing me out here late, this late at night, Ida. Got to talk with Hanayomi. Oh. <coughs> Hanayomi. Hmm. Oh yeah? Glad to hear it. Oh, whoa. <coughs> whoa, dude. What is this? Come on, man. Uh, a rather round young man appears, stepping out of the shadows. You got your question answered, Susie? Or Suzu? Yeah, it's okay now. And Naomi sure is amazing, though. She knows where everything is. I like that it's smart to ask the spirit where something is. You got that right. She helped me find my limited edition love and hero phone strap by drop. You bothered the spirit with that shit. Come on, man. Um, 
Most Loved Hero. What? You don't know? They're a popular idol group here. They've been all over TV lately. I'm surprised you haven't heard. TV's restricted to home. Oh, damn. Their lives. Her life just went down the drain. Mom says it rots your brain, of course. Oh, Aida. Is the bus coming soon? No, oh, the last bus is on its way. You better go. We'll be in big trouble if your mom finds out we went out. Yeah. Hmm. We watched from a distance for a while, but it's hard to determine their relationship. You sure you want to determine that? The pain from my scar is suddenly gone. Hey, Christy. What do you think? I turned, but Christy isn't there. Oh, no. Hey. Me there. I don't even know that girl. Depending on your answer, I'll report you for child abduction. Well, there goes Christy, hounding the poor guy. Uh, just calm down. I tried to placate her, but she won't budge. Um, I, 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 the man stumbles over his words. He looks flustered and overwhelmed. Hey, lady. Well, her face is not as scary, but sh there's still some emotion there. Hey, lady, don't be mean to Ada. The girl rushes to stand defensively in front of him and glares at us. She seems a lot more level-headed than the flusher guy behind her. I asked him to help me, okay? I went to talk to Hanayomi, so I had to had him come with me. Who is this Hanayomi you keep mentioning? A ghost who helps find things. People say you can talk to her from this telephone box. A ghost, huh? She looks at me. We're both thinking the same thing. Earlier the mark was hurting, so maybe. You guys look serious. Uh, what's going on? He nervously glances between us. Does this guy look familiar at all? I showed him the mark on my right arm. Hey, hold on. What is this? That looks exactly mi like mine? Hmm, where did you get it? He pulls one of his gloves and reveals the mark on his hand. That's the cursed scar, yeah? I saw an article on it on Oops Art Mentally. Ah, uh, there it goes. There, that's brought up again. They say he causes amnesia. He even kills you, but that's nonsense. It, it's not true. It's not all true, all right? Alright? Sounds like he'd heard the rumors, but chose not to do anything about it. I'm surprised, really. It's tough to believe it's real until your memory, memory loss starts becoming noticeable. What about you, hon? I got one of those, too. Showed up on my left wrist when I made the phone call earlier. Uh, see, huh, man? You should contact Ghost to pull any sh- Find any shit, no matter what. Pulling up her sleeve, she shows us her mark. We both have the mark. And after calling Hanayomi, that's more than a coincidence. <coughs> well, we can't just leave them here. Let's bring them to the mansion. We tell them what's going on and ask them to go to Kujio Mansion with us. It's, surp it's surprising it doesn't take much to get them to come. It's ought to take more convincing. Partially be because they missed the last bus while talking with us. Oh, well, most likely is that, dude. Before they climb in, I warn Mary to stay quiet until we get back. Might be a bad idea to freak them out. Okay, second round. First, we introduce ourselves. The man's name is Aita Nakamatsu. The girl is Suzu Morimiya. They tell us they met through the reader's column at Oops Month, Oops Art Monthly. Suzu mentioned she was interested in Hanayome and he had told her what he knew. Then she pressured him to bring her to the rumored telephone box. They were out this late because of her. Her parents sound pretty strict. Mother keeps a close eye on her after school. She needs permission to go out. Should we snuck out of the house after her mother went to bed? 
Naomi is just as famous as my school as Hanahiko is. Really? It's paranormal shit? You don't have Marvel or whatever? Smash? Yeah. hey, you need them. Please tell them about, about those rumors. Oh, do I have to? Just rumors are red, but Oof. Chapter three. Hanayomi. What the fuck? One hell of a neck. Hey, remember that one story? You know, the one about the public phone box in H City? <clears throat> There's a ghost that looks like a bride, and she'll find what you're looking for. What's the what's the drawback? Well, one of my friends actually tried it. He went to the specific phone box that lets you talk with ghosts. The phone suddenly started ringing. He slowly picked up the phone. All you could hear was this weird smacking noise. He stayed on one until. Did you see it? Key, huh? He heard a woman whisper. So we did what the room was said to do, and said, no, I haven't seen it. And she said, what do you want to see? This cat has gone missing, so we asked where it was. When he looked where the one said it was, it was really there. The rooms are totally true. Want to ask her what my future bride is now? Oh, want to come with me? Future bride? Dude. Probably not smart to ask the bridal ghost about that shit, okay? Hmm. Just saying. <clears throat> Ooh boy. There. Nice. You carry Mary from the car and gently place her back on the sofa. Thank you. Yay! Uh, being in your arms is not bad. I am most calm when I am here. I don't really talk. I can't say I expected that. And does that mean all that stuff about the market's true too? On the way over, we updated Suzu and Ida, which is just about all they need to know. They may not completely believe us, but they're not rejecting it outright either. It seems like Ida in particular has already experienced some memory loss. Already? Damn. S something about forgetting the names of anime characters or voice actors. Uh, well, that's a lot to remember. Depends on how much you watch. Curious to look at him strange, but he appears to be taken quite seriously. And Suzu, she's knocked out of her house because she believes the rumors of Hanayomi. The boys believe in the occult already. I'm pretty sure they'll help us find out. Wait, just skip the mark. Granted, they're also really curious about Hanayomi. Pardon me, but may I speak? The marks in Suzu and Aida. They're likely from Hanayomi. Only like Christy. The feeling I sense from your mark is the same as theirs. So we can assume Hanayomi also gave the mark to you. Do you recall encountering her? Something weird did happen. Right before I entered the forest, I stumbled in the phone box on T Mountain. Mountain. The phone rang out of nowhere. Oh, it might be because of that. The telephone box at the rest area is also the rumors of Hanayomi. But, but I didn't pick it up. It creeped me out, so I left. I was never able to give that person one final call because of that. Uh, what are you talking about? It is not for children to know. F fine. So there are other phone boxes like that? Uh, I think. Th there are three that Hanayomi will call from. One is... The one we went to is on a highway parking lot. One at Team Mountain Rest Area, where Miss Chrissy went. And... Uh, Nita, where's the last one? 
That's parked by T apartment complex. It's the only one inside the city. Inside the city? Damn. Why just those three locations? Don't know. The BBS era didn't say. Um, mister, do you really think Hanayomi is the one who really who gave us the marks? I'm not sure yet. But the rumors about Hanayomi go back five years? Just five? Because she, see, she's like a recent thing? No one's ever mentioned that if you call her, you'll get a mark. Susie's right. Rumor about this mark thing only popped up super recently. So you were saying Hanayomi hasn't always been giving out the mark? That's true. I wonder what triggered a change. Of course, can't really see say seeing as I don't know anything about spirits. Ghost helping people find what they're looking for. That's pretty strange. Definitely the de definition of ghost story. Hey, Mr. Cast, if those rumors are true, why don't we try asking where the stolen statues are? If we return them to their places, it might just might save our lives. Search for the Buddha statues. If Christie's right, we might be able to escape the mark without fighting a spirit. Uh, that's what I hope for, too. Mary, what do you think? Good question. Objects with human forms are easily able to gain inexplicable powers. Bleeding stone statues, cursed dolls. There are many examples. I'm still keeping my air on I knew Mary. Just saying. Historical statues of gods and Buddhas would certainly be no exception. Asking Naniomi about them would be a good idea. So says the doll before her eyes that has explicable power to talk. Maybe it wouldn't be strange that Buddha statues could bring down divine wrath. Or cast them. Might I add? <clears throat> As I explained previously, your mark is... It's different from all the others. Hankersheen spirits seem to weaken your mark's power several days since she told me that I was going to die. Taking care of the spirits we encounter is likely Helen still among the living. What are you trying to say? I cannot say what the relationship between your mark and Hanayomi is, but it is true that it is in your best interest to track down the spirits. I hope you will guide these mark bearers this evening as well. I can't really picture Christian Ida feasting off against a spirit by themselves. They failed and a child would suffer deadly consequences. That would weigh heavily on me. I'm turning back. I'll figure something out. Thank you. Danny? Oh, Mary bows her head slightly. Now, you should be you should begin investigating Hanayomi. Why does she only call from three public phones within each city? Her secret may lie in the answer. You visit the parking lot already. Please investigate Timon and the park by T apartment complex. No info. Alright. Cool. So I can bring new partners. Three in total. Alright. Hmm. Uh, I don't have my guy move with me. But this is just an intro for chapter 3 anyways. But before I end it off, let's check out the new spirit file. Rumors with the end of the 90s, online infrastructure has advanced with the popularity of a certain widely used BBS. Hanyomi is an urban legend that sprung up from that BBS. It goes as follows, certain telephone booths in each city will let you talk to ghosts. If you go inside one and wait, the phone will suddenly ring. Pick it up and you'll hear a strange, lip-smacking noise. A woman will ask, have you seen it? Remember to say you're supposed to say, you're supposed to reply that with, haven't seen it. She respond with, what do you want to see? Someone actually followed the instructions and was able to find a missing pet. What a strange tale. Not all people are interested in this ghost, wanting to find things, or people who've become lost. But not a single one has ever mentioned getting a mark from her. But circumstances seem to imply the spirit gave the mark to Ida or Suzu. Plus, why is the spirit called a bride? If she appears as a bride, then mu someone must have seen her. The first phone box. Um, not 
nothing really. <laughs> okay. Well, that, that I'll leave it off here, boys. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like for this episode. And don't forget to subscribe and share it out to friends. Shall see you in an episode you watch next is Chaman. Peace.